Three Northeast Missouri school superintendents recently signed a letter of opposition addressed to Governor Parson regarding Senate Bill 727. KTBO's Trey Wiggins learned more about that bill and why it may pose a financial risk to smaller school districts. A Missouri bill is on the radar of superintendents across Northeast Missouri. Senate Bill 727 started as a bill to provide tax incentives for a statewide scholarship program, as well as tax credits for parents moving their kids to another school. Legislators kept piling measures onto the bill, including a plan to expand charter schools and increase teacher pay. But it could leave smaller school districts in the Show Me State without enough funding for all of their programs, which begs the question, where's the funding coming from? This just becomes very scary, so it impacts everybody in the state of Missouri and public schools throughout the state. Um, unless they, they have a pot of gold somewhere that they can tap into, um, it's just unsettling. Knox County R1 Superintendent Andy Turgeon was one of three Northeast Missouri superintendents to sign a letter of opposition sent to Governor Parson's office along with Robert Webb of Kirksville R3 and Susan Johnson of Hannibal School District. He has just been a huge supporter of our school. And part of the reason for the letter is to thank him for everything he's done and just asking him one more time, help us out here, um, because this bill could be detrimental to a lot of school districts, public school districts in the state of Missouri. If signed into law, the measures will go into effect on July 1st of 2026. If programs were to be cut, they'd likely cut the transportation funding program, which would severely impact Knox County R1. Prior to receiving full funding, their transportation department was receiving $220,000 less than they were supposed to. While their minimum teacher salary is above the proposed state minimum of $40,000, if signed into law, Bill 727 will have the minimum salary increase with the rate of inflation starting in 2028. That would take a toll over time. Reporting for KTVO News, I'm Trey Wiggins. Trey is set to meet tomorrow with Kirksville Superintendent Robert Webb, who also signed that letter opposing the bill. He'll have more perspective from Webb tomorrow evening.